Pick a move in the ring. You can hit me with the words you fling. All right, what's going on, everyone? It's South China Morning Post, SCMP Martial Arts in here, Bangkok, Thailand, at the best Western Plus Wonder Grand Hotel. I'm here with Janlo Mark Sanjao, ahead of his fight against Matthias Farinelli. You're back. It's been a few months. We saw you in Manila in December, your home country. Now we're back in Thailand. How are you feeling, sir? Uh, feeling good. Uh, ready to ready to go. Yeah. Uh, this fight was originally meant to happen already, and it got cancelled. Was that a bit frustrating for you, having that delay? Not really, because uh, someone stood up, but. I'm happy that's finally gonna go. Yeah, you, you, you got a late notice replacement. Someone from the Warrior Series yeah. uh, came in and you, you dispatched him pretty easily. Uh, LA, Leron was yeah. it, yeah. Um, so were you originally preparing for another guy? It must have made it a little bit hard on a late notice to fight LA. Yeah, uh, I don't really have a proper game plan before, but now I've been preparing for this guy for almost six months. Uh, because I was supposed to fight him, fought him last December, but I know that uh, I'm 100% sure that I will beat this guy because I'm preparing for a lot, been preparing for a long time. Yeah. Well, yeah. What do you make of him? He he's quite uh, new to the sport, despite being quite old. You know, he's late 30s, yeah. I think. I think he's sort of unbeaten, four and zero, five and zero. Is that strange to face someone so new to the sport who has got you know an unbeaten record, but at such a, a high age? For me, I don't really care for, uh, about that. But uh, all I want to do is to beat this guy up. Yeah, that sounds good yeah. to me. How are you going to beat him up then? Do you have a game plan? I know you don't want to give it away too much, but uh, what, what's the thought? What have you been working on with your coach? Uh, I'm gonna wrestle with him and I'm gonna punish him in the ground or choke him or knock him out. That sounds good to me as well. Well, look, I have to ask you, Janla, there's been a lot of change at Team Lakai in the last couple of months. Uh, a few guys have left, a few of the original OGs, you know, Edward Falai and Kevin Bellingon's gone, Joshua Passio, Honorio Bonario. Uh, how has it been for you having to deal with all that change? Uh, for me, uh, I don't really uh, get into those things. For me, I, I, I'm, I'm just going to train, do my part and fight. Yeah. Is it put more pressure on you now to be one of the new leaders of this gym, uh, even you're at such a young age and, you know, inexperienced, but uh, are, are the people at the gym looking to you now to lead them into this new generation? Uh, our seniors is not there already, so uh, there's the pressure that uh, we're gonna be next. We need to be, we need to push ourselves to be the next who's gonna be on top. So yeah. And is it hard for you to lose so much experience personally? You can't go to Edward and ask for advice, you know, every day now. You can't go to Kevin, Joshua. Is that tough to adjust to? Uh, no, because. Uh, I have we have a great coach who have has been doing this for a very long time. We have him as a mentor. He knows any, everything about this sport. So no, not really. A lot of people are wondering, yeah, is, is Team Lakai uh, what's going to happen to them? Uh, what's your message to people who are doubting Team Lakai and saying that Team Lakai is finished or not the same? Team Lakai is just getting started. Yeah, we're gonna bring that belts back. Yeah, well, talking about last time you fought, the boss man, Chatri, said Janlo might be a future world champion, he thinks. Uh, that's a bit more pressure as well, isn't it, for you? Or, or how do you put that out of your head when you prepare for this fight? Uh, for me, it's not really the pressure. For me, it's the motivation. Uh, so I can get, uh, I can get that uh, speech be true. Yeah. That sounds good to me. Well, we're looking forward to this fight. Uh, but just back finally on those on the guys who have left. You know, have you spoken to them? Uh, what What was it like when they left? Do you have any any? Uh, what What's the feeling? Are you still good friends with them? Uh, yeah, I still see them uh, sometimes, but there's no negative uh, things like that. Yeah, that's good to hear. I know, I know Edward and uh, Joshua have gone to Jackson Wink in yeah. Albuquerque. Um, I think Lito is in, in Thailand here, isn't yeah. he? He's training. Uh, is, is, it, is it fun to see the guys trying new things as well? Yeah, it's good to try new things as soon as they're, they're going to be positive. Yeah. 
But you're staying Team Mackay, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> still the best. Still the best. That's what we want here. Okay, Ajano, right, tell the fans, yeah, uh, the Filipino fans, what's going to happen Saturday. Uh, watch, uh, watch out because watch out. Stu stay tuned. Uh, April twenty-two, it's gonna be fire. All right, fire it is. Okay, thanks so much.